Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I have a Sephora haul for you. As you guys know, I'm in the US visiting my friend Melissa aka The Blush Beauty if you can't tell from the strange background and the different doggy in the background as well. He's sitting so good, aren't you, Biscuit? Yes. Do you want to say hello? You just wag your tail. You just wag your tail for everyone. Anyway, as I was getting ready to come over here, Sephora had their four times the points and the Epic Rewards failure that happened. Well, just not going into that because that was just ridiculous. Anyway, while there was four times the points, I knew there was stuff I wanted to get. So I figured I may as well just get some stuff. And that way I don't have to pack as much makeup anyway. Didn't really need to pack anything because if you saw the first haul that we did, um, a drugstore haul, pretty much bought all of my base products already. I'll link that down below and Melissa's channel. But that's what I got at Sephora. I'm VIB Rouge, so I get free shipping with every order. So I'm the kind of person that splits the order up into as many as I can to get as much free stuff as possible because that's pretty much the best thing about shopping at Sephora is all the little um, kind of coupon codes and all of that fun stuff that you can get free stuff with because you don't really get that much free stuff in Australia. You get like your little samples but not so many great coupon codes which is what I take advantage of when I'm shopping online. So let's go into it. There is another box already in my bag ready to be taken home for my boyfriend's cousin who gave me, he's like, I want this, this and this. I'm like, that is easy, done, four times the points for me. But let's get into what I bought the f um, and then I'll get into all these samples and coupon codes. The first thing is the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour palette. I've used a few of these already because obviously I didn't bring makeup and the first day I was here I was like, oh, well, I'll try them. Today I use mostly Melissa's makeup or my makeup that I've purchased and hauled. But this comes with a really sleek palette that looks like this. It's got your highlight, your bronzer and your contour. The highlight is kind of dark for my skin tone. It's really only going to be able to be used to set the eye area, not actually use on the tops of the cheekbones. But the contour is really nice and I haven't used the bronzer yet. But it looks really nice too. Yeah, not too orangey, which I like. So that is that. It also comes with a brush. I only use the contouring this when I used it, so I do know that's good. I do like the contour colour. It's nice and compact. I would, however, have to take like a shimmery highlight if I wanted one, or just use an eyeshadow, which is what I do a lot of the time when I'm travelling. It does come with this really cute little brush. This was a lot smaller than I thought it was. But it is a Smashbox brush um, that actually works really well, obviously, for contouring. But it's a tiny brush. But it's really nice. So now I can kind of throw out the packaging because I'm the kind of person who keeps the packaging even after I use it until I haul it. Okay, so that's the first thing I got. I think that was like, ooh, receipts. I totally have those. Hmm, I wonder. Where's that one? Nope. Step size, step contour. Do you have a price on you? No? So your invoices don't have prices on them. Oh well. So, don't know how much that was because I can't get see it. Oh well. Okay. Next thing I purchased was for my eyes and I picked up the Tarte Tartlet palette. I was tossing up between this and the Too Faced Natural Matte palette uh, but ended up getting this one and I'm glad I did because it is that little bit different. So it's got your warm browns, your purples and then your cooler browns which I like. Um, I just wanted something really easy to travel with and this is absolutely gorgeous. I have used this and I really like it. I love the quality of Tarte eyeshadows. Um, I may still end up picking up the Too Faced one but now that I've got the L'Oreal palette I probably won't because I've already, that's like two palettes already that I've purchased so I don't know but picked that one up. It is beautiful. I'll do a little swatchy swatchy for you. I did a really basic look with it. I haven't used like the super dark colours yet, but 
that's just three swatches, an all matte palette, and I really like the quality of Tarte's powder products in general. As you guys know, I love exposed blush. That is my jam. So that is the next thing I got. Then I picked up a, another Too Faced Melted Lix, Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I have the colour Melted Fig, which is a really pretty like mauve purpley colour, which is really nice for every day, but I wanted something a bit brighter. And then this colour is a VIB Sephora online exclusive, so I'm like, okay, let's try this. This is called Melted Rainbow. It looks to be a hot pink colour. I, like, I haven't even swatched this one because I wanted to leave some things unseen because I did bring lipsticks with me. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. So there's a hot pink colour with a purple base to it, which I really like because the other hot pink colour, um, Melted Fuchsia, I think, is like... Is it Melted Fuchsia? I don't know. The one that looks like a hot highlighter pink could never wear on my lips, but this is much more wearable, I think. But it's still really bright and fun, and these wear beautifully as well, as the name suggests, long wear. Yeah, get my baby wipes and clean my hand. On the verge of lips, I also picked up a Sephora Rue Lost in Matte Longwear Lip Colour in the colour Pink Flush Luster. Again, I have Fig Luster because apparently I like fig tones again, but I wanted a brighter colour. And this one called to me. This one's not really a colour I'd usually reach for because it's quite orange based, but I'm trying to kind of see if there's a corally tone that will work for me. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not a fan of that colour. I may return this and exchange it for a different colour because it is not something I would usually kind of go for. It is that kind of on the edge of highlighter-esque, which I'm not a fan of. I may actually yeah, exchange that for a different colour. <sighs> it's the beauty of Sephora though, you can exchange. Like it. Okay. More lipsticks. No, let's go with what I ordered. Then, um, oh no, this I actually meant to order. Yeah. Um, there was an accident order in here or something. Uh, then I picked up a Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipstick. I have the sample of this colour and my sister really likes it and I really like it. So I'm like, you know what, I'll buy the full size one and then you can take the little sample one. And then if you use that, you can go buy your own one because that's a lot of lipstick to go through. So, um, I do have one of the full-size Kat Von D lipsticks in Motorhead? No. I have a sample in Motorhead. But this is in the shade Lovecraft, which is a gorgeous, nudie, brownie, movie pinky colour. Because everyone knows that that is my colour. That is my colour. I love it. Um, these are really matte, so I do wear a good lip balm underneath them. But they're beautiful and they wear for a really long time. Okay. Then the epic disaster of uh, Epic Rewards happened and I accidentally ended up with a, um, well I didn't accidentally end up with, I was going to get the blush when that was happening but then obviously the reward disappeared but I still got the blush. This is the uh, MK Afterglow Low 8 Hour Powder Blush in the shade Fetish which is a natural mauve pinky colour, wow. I am not predictable at all. <laughs> so that's the colour. Um, and then that is the swatch. I've heard this compared to the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 hour blushes in the pigmentation and stuff. Very soft, very nice. Blends out really nice too. So I got that. Then while I was here, um, once something came back in stock that I wanted and there was a 250 point perk that I wanted so I picked this up. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lipstick in the shade Barbary. So this is from the um, Matte Berry collection that they came out with. Now I have one of their um, regular Luminous Cream Lipsticks in a purpley shade as well. But I wanted to pick this one up because it looked gorgeous and I wanted to try the matte formula. And it's not particularly matte at all. It's just not as shiny in my opinion. So this is in Barberry. And this is what the bullet looks like. For the pebbles. Again, kind of a <laughs> wintry shade. 
and I've just come from winter and I'm going to go back to spring but hey that's a really pretty color uh, we'll see how that dries down I'm not too sure and then the gift that the 250 point perk I don't know if this was exclusively the Abbe Rouge or what this is the bite limited edition uh, lip set so let me get this out So it comes with a little mirror, uh, not the greatest mirror in my opinion, could have at least like had a close, but the reason I picked it up was for the colours in here. So the first is a luminous cream lipstick in the shade Bellini, they're both in the shade Bellini so the first is a lipstick and I've worn this and it is gorgeous. So this is probably... The most gorgeous hot pink shade I have seen. I love the formula of these. Um, they're really, really creamy. You do need a lip liner to set it in because it is so creamy though. And then there is the Lush Fruit Lip Gloss in the shade Bellini again. I have one of these. I haven't really used it though. Um, the pigment's really nice on this one actually. So that's the gloss there. So that's really pretty. So that was a 250 point perk. And then I think the rest of these are like either promo codes or samples. I will show you all like the promo codes and stuff because some of them were really good. Oh, wait. And <laughs> um, to go over the amount on the Barbary lipstick to get the promo code that I got, which I love as well. I picked up the Sephora uh, Freshen Up Cooling Under Eye Gels for On The Plane Home because the under eye area was the only part of me that got super dry on the plane, so I figured this would be cool to have with me for that. Anyway, the um, promo code that came with that was the YSL Tintin Oil in My Cherry Cherry. I've tried this and I'm in love. This is gorgeous. I really don't want to fall in love because it's such an expensive product to get full size, but it is beautiful. It is an oil with a slight tint that stains your lips. So hydrating, absolutely gorgeous, and may look into a couple of colours when I actually go into a store. Then another one of them was the Makeup Forever Step One Equalizer Hydrating Primer. Like this, I thought it was the nourishing primer, but apparently it was the hydrating primer. I don't know. But um even though I have oilier skin, I like to keep hydrated, so I pop this on with a mattifying foundation and powder. Make sure I still have hydrated skin underneath my mattifying. Then another primer was the YSL Touche Clark Blur Primer, which I'm pretty sure is like a silicone primer. Yep, with like gold flecks in it, which is weird. Oh, that's very silicone. You got to be careful with silicone primers how much you use because if you use uh, the right amount, they'll be quite mattifying on the skin, but if you use too much, you'll get that kind of greasy, oily feel. So be careful with that one. Then for VIB Rouge, there was a Giorgio Armani three-piece set, which I've already been using the mascara in this in Black Ecstasy. This is really nice. I really like this mascara. I never really purchase full-size mascaras because I get so many sample ones, but I picked this up. Well, that was in there as well as the, what's this called? Ooh, the writing's so tiny. Lip Maestro in the shade 400, which is like their liquid lipstick in a red shade. And a Fluid Sheer in the shade 2, which I haven't opened this, so I'm not sure what it looks like. Oh, so it's like a liquid highlighter in a pearly pinky champagne shade. It's quite pretty. You can't really say that at all. Oh well. Okay, I think that's all the promo codes I used. Oh, and I got a sunscreen sampler set because we're going to Florida and sunscreen is important. So they're all just like packet size sunscreen samples. And yeah. Alright, so that is all samples, um, not really much, um, I went through that on my vlog which samples I got, so, look, if you want to see that, check out that 
vlog vlog number one um i will try and remember to link it down below but that is what i picked up at sephora i may be returning this because the color is not something that i would wear ever ever so yes hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it there's probably going to be another sephora haul coming when we actually get into a sephora store which would be really fun with melissa by my side instead of just this good over here so yes, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click subscribe, the button's down here. I'll keep you up to date on all my videos, travels, adventures, and a whole lot of hauling at the moment. I have all my study out. So, blah, 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 blah. Okay guys, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you guys think of these products. If you've tried any, any recommendations of things to pick up while I'm here. I'd love to talk to you guys. Click subscribe, the button's right here or somewhere down here. I'll keep you up to date on all my videos and travel adventures. All my social media links are in the down bar as always. Come and say hello. Love to talk to you guys. And there should be a couple of photos up on Instagram mostly. I'm mostly on Instagram, not so much on Twitter. But even then, I'm pretty dodgy with social media. I really need to get on that. Anyway, click subscribe to stay tuned with everything, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!